We are even halfway through the year and 12 people have been killed in Winnebago County. Nine of those deaths happened in Rockford. Tonight, those victims and victims of the past are being honored. The Carol McFagan Memorial Service has been happening for more than a decade. Emery Wilder was there. Emery? Eric, the ceremony is named after the woman who founded the Rockford Homicide Survivor Support Group. Families I spoke with say that group has been their backbone through such a tragic situation. We just miss him dearly. He was just the best in our eyes, you know, and, and irreplaceable. Lisa Valentine remembers her late fiance Mike. She was joined with many others on Monday night, mourning the loss of a loved one. It's the 18th year the Winnebago County State's Attorney's Office has hosted the Homicide Victim Memorial. Teresa Lazzarini provides support to the families of the victims. Families of victims of violent crimes are in a group all by themselves. It's a prof it has such a profound impact on their life. And it's a nice way for the community to just come together and to let them know we're here, we care, we support you. Tracy Box Netters keeps her sister, Monica's, name alive. She says aid from the state's attorney's office helps her through her grief. I had a lot of support from the state's attorney's uh, victim advocate um, department. Uh, my advocate was so wonderful. She went to every court hearing. However, Lazzarini adds, with the rate of murders rising in Rockford, the group is even more important. For Valentine, it's hard to feel comfortable going out in public. It's very scary here in Rockford these days, you know. And Mike was real protective of me and my daughter, so us going out is very different if we don't have people that we feel are going to protect us if needed. The support group meets every third Wednesday of each month. You can also check out the Winnebago County State's Attorney's Office website for more resources. Eric?